This is the Collaborative Stage Data Collection System, CS Moments. The topic for today will be the data field, prostate CS extension, clinical extension. And we will be answering the question, can imaging be used to determine clinically apparent tumors? I'm Donna Gress, AJCC Technical Specialist. The question that we have is, can I use imaging studies like an MRI, or an ultrasound to determine if the prostate cancer is apparent or inapparent. Currently, DRE, or Digital Rectal Exam, is considered the gold standard for clinically staging prostate cancers. It is used to determine if a patient's prostate cancer is clinically inapparent, where the cancer is not felt, versus clinically apparent, where the cancer is felt. Terms such as mass, tumor, or nodule during the DRE indicate a clinically apparent prostate cancer. Physicians commonly use additional imaging studies while clinically staging prostate cancers. However, these imaging studies have their own set of limitations. There is significant inter-observer variability or a difference between how one person will interpret an image versus someone else. And there is a lack of sensitivity and specificity where it is needed for reliable diagnosis. The radiologist will give a description to assist the managing physician, but you must have confirmation of the imaging findings from the managing physician in order to use it to clinically stage prostate cancers. In the prostate schema CS extension data field, we need to document whether the tumor is inapparent or apparent during staging workup. Clinically inapparent tumors are those that are not felt on DRE or seen on imaging. They might also be described simply as T1C tumors. Determining clinically apparent or T2 tumors is a little more difficult. The T category is based upon DRE and imaging only. Biopsies cannot be used. Note 3a for CS extension states, a clinically apparent tumor is palpable or visible by imaging. If a clinician documents a tumor, mass, or nodule, this can be inferred as apparent. This note requires some clarification. First, there is no list of words that can be applied to imaging results that determine if a cancer is visible. Therefore, only the managing physician, not the radiologist, can interpret the imaging findings as clinically apparent prostate cancer. Second, since there is no list of words that can be applied to imaging results, the terms tumor, mass, or nodule may only be used to describe the clinically apparent prostate cancers found on DRE. Now we're going to look at a couple of scenarios to make this more clear. In scenario one, we have a patient with an elevated PSA and a benign DRE. An MRI of the prostate is ordered. The radiologist reports a prostate mass in both lobes and notes the patient as a T2C. There is no documented managing physician imaging interpretation or stage. What is the CS extension code? Since there are no managing physician stage or note to support the MRI report, the CS extension code should be 150, tumor identified by needle biopsy for elevated PSA, clinically inapparent. In scenario two, we have a patient with an elevated PSA and a benign DRE. The MRI imaging performed shows a nodule occupying more than half of the left lobe of the prostate. The managing physician notes the patient as a T2. How should the CS extension be coded? Although the physician simply stages the patient as T2, it is obvious that he has based this on the MRI since the DRE was benign. Therefore, code 220 should be used since the tumor involves more than one half of one lobe of the prostate. 
The references used for this presentation include CS version 0204 coding instructions, section 1, part 2, page 44. Clarification is available in the new CS version 0205 distributed October 2013 effective with 2014 cases. Part 2 has updated notes and instructions on using the imaging to determine clinically apparent. Please remember to submit your questions to the CS forum. This is located within the cancer forum. This provides information from everyone to benefit from the questions and the answers. It also allows for tracking for educational purposes and helps us choose which topics should be made into videos such as this one. The URL is on the screen for the Cancer Forum. Also, please visit the AJCC YouTube channel. These contain short 5 to 15 minute videos on both AJCC and CS topics. We cover many important concepts in these short videos. We also post them on the CS webpage in case you are unable to access the YouTube channel. The URL for the AJCC YouTube channel is on the screen. This has been sponsored by the CSV2 Education and Training Team and AJCC, the administrative sponsor for Collaborative Stage. Thank you.